So another powerful way that you can use Screencastify is just to use the webcam recording feature on it. And I think so often we think of Screencastify as a screencast tool, you know, where we're just recording what's going on in our screen. But another really powerful feature of it is the ability to just turn on a webcam and start recording. And if you think about all of the different ways that that could be used in the classroom too, I mean, it's, it's pretty far reaching. And so to be able to do that, all you have to do is click on your Screencastify Chrome extension button. And then over here on the far right, you just click webcam only. And then from there, you can choose which microphone you want, which camera you want, and hit record. And all of a sudden, it'll start recording through the webcam, like the one I'm using right here. And it'll take that recording and it'll save it. And so then you've got a recording through the camera instead of recording on the screen. And so if we start to think about how that could be used in the classroom, there are really lots and lots of options. You know, for instance, uh, for me, you know, my uh, career I've spent teaching in the foreign language classroom. And so just being able to turn on the webcam and have students record themselves you know, speaking the foreign language, practicing the language, um, doing a conversation together on the same camera is really pretty great. If you think about the music classroom, you know, being able to do performances, um, demonstrating their skills and that kind of thing, being able to do that in front of a camera is pretty great. Uh, if students create projects and then need to present them, you know, they could always uh, present them individually through little webcam videos, or you, know, you could have an entire group and just an ongoing single video of everybody in the class. Um, reflection. Reflection is also huge. You know, um, allowing students to reflect on their learning. That's one of those things that's really high on John Hattie's list of um, best practices, you know, research-driven best practices. And so giving kids the ability to think about their learning and think about what they've learned and why it's important, that kind of thing, and just allowing them to do that on camera is, is really pretty great.